Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I'm doing Virgo. Where are my Virgos at? Let's get to it. Because I have a few readings to do today. So let's get to it. I just finished staging, so yeah. Hope you're having a beautiful Saturday. It's 4-14, September 4th, September 14th, September 8th, September 5th, uh, September 19th. Yeah, September 5th. All right, you guys may be 44 years old, 41 years old, 45 years old, 49 years old, 48. Let's see, universal flow seven. Okay, oh, September 7th. Oh, universal flow. Okay, it is time for you to slow down, breathe, and take time to smell the roses. Okay. But you guys are like um, going with the flow right now, really tapping into your spiritual um, gifts, okay? Um, yeah, okay? But um, Spirit is saying take time for yourself as well. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overdo yourself, okay? Just take time for yourself. Rest. Take a vacation. <laughs> Purpose. Follow your path, okay? This is what you're doing. You're walking alone. You're following your path. Okay, which is very good, but universal flow. Yeah, you're really aligning with who you are, you know, uh, what you want out of life. Okay, but at the same time, don't try to, don't overwork yourself. Okay, yeah, don't overwork yourself. But um, that's good, all right, on your spiritual journey, but you're walking alone. So let's see <laughs> what's coming towards you. Okay, God bless you, baby. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. So, stepping out of your comfort zone, following your... Okay. All right, Virgos. I see you. Okay. So, stepping out of your comfort zone, following, doing what you love. Okay. Um, tap into your talents. Tap into your spiritual gifts. This is what it's all about. Okay. Um, universal flow. Um, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that the universe is sending to you, your spirits. Okay. But I see you guys stepping out in the forefront, doing what you guys love, doing what you got to do. Um, and following your purpose um you're not letting anything or anyone hold you back um that's a great thing okay yes all right let's continue but uh the universal flow is like um manifesting too at the same time what you want okay the power to manifest so some of you all may be manifesting out there seeing your affirmation your meditations um doing your visual boards prayers okay yes all right i see you guys doing this working in silence okay oh wow okay <laughs> oh okay so family matters okay so really focus on your family right now what you want um but concerns about family family matters um oh uh, yeah uh yeah if you have kids your children your children's future um yeah looking forward to those things okay uh stepping out of your comfort zone but walking your own path so even if you're in a family situation or having problems with family uh you're disconnecting what with people what no longer uh serves you okay but daydreaming um so um somebody is definitely thinking about you um wants to send you a message um i feel that you're not in communication with this person uh possibly you have kids with this person already take it how it resonates um maybe not this person may have a, a children and they disconnected from their family um yeah um but this person wants to send you a message um but everything is going to be happening in divine timing you see the watch uh but this person is really daydreaming about you thinking about you uh really up in their head about you but silent wearing a mask uh hiding behind one true feelings um not really expressing their self um but i see that you guys are moving in silence as well and if you guys are up your head daydreaming snap out of it uh get out of that comfort zone but with the pen in the hand it's like um spirit is saying write down your ideas start journaling your ideas um start you know doing a vision board and stuff like that but um some of you all may be authors writers uh some of you all may want to send a personal message but yeah it's concerning family matters um um just you know laying down the foundation for your family like building a legacy but you're moving in silence right now and that's a great thing okay but in this it's speaking about uh another person this person wants to send you a message but um they're hiding their self with the mask okay 
they're silent for right now. Um, I don't see any communication here. This person, again, may have kids, may have just got out of family, you know, uh, situation, uh, wants to communicate with you. This is what I'm feeling. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, step out of your comfort zone. So, um, so even if you are dealing with a family right now, um, and this person, this is, this is going to be a decision that you have, but I see you walking yourself, following your, uh, going with your intuition, following your truth. Okay. What matters to you and what matters to your, what makes you happy. That's what you're doing and what makes, what's the best for your family. Um, that's not including, I see you walking by yourself, so that's not including anybody else, okay? If you have children, that's what you're concerned about, your children's future, okay? Let's see, what's the scoop? Okay. Halloween, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, okay, so show more gratitude, so again, you guys are very um, grateful for what you, ha what you have, okay, um, doing your prayers, as you can see, it's a praying hand, so some of you all came from nothing, had to work really hard for what you have, um, but um, yeah, very, um, but show more gratitude, so um, thankful, being thankful every day uh, for what you have, even if it's not much, um, yeah, just being thankful, but um, in due course, if you guys haven't stepped out of your comfort zone, spirit is saying it's time to follow your path. The, if you guys were praying and saying your affirmation, spirits are with you. Universal flow. Anything that you wanted to manifest, here it is. Okay, but yeah, stepping out your comfort zone and doing what you need to do. Okay, I see you guys are going to be very fruitful, um, very um, abundant um, when you when you do what you love. Uh, tapping into your talent okay balance uh this may be a same-sex relationship a situation needs more balance okay so um in terms of relationship um uh, family matters um balancing out your own scales again planning i see the pen so planning um what's your best course of action right now but with this person i see this person wants to restore balance um wants to bring back balance something about this connection um is, is somebody that you already know I'm feeling, but Halloween, you see wearing a mask, um, something significant about this holiday. So possibly you guys start speaking about around Halloween. You're going to reconnect with this person around Halloween, poss possibly a costume party, but this person, um, was masking how they really feel about you, but wants to confess, uh, wants to send you something, possibly a poem or just a message, but divine timing this person is like hmm thinking you know how how to communicate with you to restore balance um again you may have children with this person or um yeah you may be in a family already and this person is like okay because i i feel like this is something that is past and no communication here but reconciliation something about reuniting this person wants to get back um yeah Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, you see, ascension, spiritual path, awakening, so you guys are really on your spiritual path right now, following your purpose, stepping out of your comfort zone, again, if you haven't started, some of you are still ascending, which is great, okay, but just keep praying, saying your affirmations, and pay attention to your dreams, your uh, synchronicities, even what people say, even your enemies could give you a message, okay, all right, um, crushed, sad broken feeling alone so again somebody is definitely missing you or daydreaming about you wants to send you a message it's like um again possibly you have a family with this person and you guys are on a break right now this person wants to come back reconcile get the family together or this person um <laughs> is um yeah um something of the past but wants to reconcile wants to make this work something something here but somebody's feeling crushed now you could be feeling crushed over a breakup um concerning a family okay um some of you all, it may not even be in a relationship or children but it just means like having problems with your parents or 
your siblings, you know, all right? But some of you may be feeling sad and broken over a relationship as well, okay? And going through a spiritual awakening at this moment, all right? Um, because these are spiritual lessons that we need to learn, okay? Uh, negotiator, bargaining, and begging. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, but you see the water is water somebody is um really uh thirsty um wants to um come in and speak to you but uh but they're gonna be begging for your forgiveness uh with the water like purify this um yeah um it's like a rebirth there you go water like uh baptized rebirth like that um but they're gonna be begging for you back um wants to negotiate with you like the terms and stuff like that <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, let's continue. Let's get some tarot. Yeah, but you see, you walk your path by yourself. You see? By yourself. So, I don't know if you're going to take this offer. I don't know, but let's see what else is coming towards you. Okay, flip. Okay. Whoa. 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 Two of Cups and the uh, Page of Wands. Okay. Uh, with the Two of Cups, this is a soul connection, soul contract, divine connection, true love. Um, somebody wants to come in. They know that you're their true love. This person went on a spirit. Okay. Let me explain this. Okay. With daydreaming and ascension, so this person um, is awakening to this truth that knowing that you are their divine connections, their divine soulmate, whatever you believe in, twin flame, okay? Now this person is watching and waiting um, for the right opportunity to come in to offer you their cup of love. Uh, will you take them back? I don't know, but they're plotting, you see? They're waiting and plotting uh, to communicate with you. This person is in love with you. They know that you are the one for them, their soul. It's like um, they're missing half. That's how they feel without you. Lost, lost, crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. <laughs> okay, yes. That's how it is with usually with um, twin flames and soul con soul soulmates, soul um, divine divine connections. Yeah, but with the oh my goodness, with the queen of swords. <laughs> Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, yeah, you're you're really not really uh, allowing people to um, get in your way in your path right now because um, right now you're on your your journey, your spiritual journey, and doing what you love. Okay, um, you're, you're you're done with the bullshit. All right, you ascend it to a higher level. All right, so with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords is very um, and highly intelligent. Okay, and um, truth she's a truth seeker uh another thing with her is she cutthroat um uh, she doesn't give a damn to cut you off or cut people off all right and she speaks her mind okay and this is this is where you at right now okay yeah oh man okay a lot of communication coming in here um lot, this person has a lot of passion but i see this person uh is coming in they're they're coming to communicate they're coming um they can't hold back anymore Okay, yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, this may have been a family dynamic concerning money, children, uh, finances, because with negotiator, like negotiating the terms of the business or the money or child support, uh, alimony, whatever. Um, but this person wants to come back and restore this family, restore restore this, uh, the family. Okay, yeah, but you see with the Six of Swords, I see that you're moving away. And if you have kids, moving away with your children, but moving to calmer waters. Some of you, uh, some of you all, this person may live at a distance or you just, yeah, or move into another state. With the Ace of Pentacles, I see a lot of money, a lot of opportunities coming your way uh, and a lot of money, again, when you step out of your comfort zone and follow your path and do what you love. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles as well, because I did say abundance, I see a lot of abundance, right, in the beginning uh, with universal flow because you're manifesting everything that you want. Now, with the Ace of, Pent Ace of Pentacles, this person wants to come in and offer you... Um, you know, like try to negotiate the terms again with money. Um, you know, hey, you know, be a provider, uh, reignite this relationship, um, uh, long term. If you if you're not married, get married, a proposal. This person is coming with something that um they feel you're not gonna reject. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, but with the death card, sign of Scorpio, um, you put things to an end. Okay, you put things to an end. You're you're cleansing your energy of negativity. Okay, so you put things to an end, but a rebirth, something coming alive again. All right, but it's like you're coming alive again within yourself, happy with yourself, doing what you love. Okay, um, when this person comes in, it's gonna be like the hell. Yeah. With the sun card, you're going towards your happiness. Sign of Leo, going towards your happiness. What makes you happy? Uh, again, like I said, now with the sun card, this speaks of um, children. Um, some of you all may be getting pregnant, have children already. But um, you see with the sunflowers, a lot of growth around you. A lot of abundance. A lot of money coming your way. Uh, a lot of opportunities. Um, a lot of uh, negotiate. Of course, you're going to be negotiating business in terms of business. You're going to be negotiating because uh, a lot of people is going to be wanting, reaching out to you, wanting to uh, work with you. Um, I see things picking up in fall with Halloween around uh, fall. Okay. It's going to make you very happy. Yes. And restoring balance in your life. So uh, I don't know if you're going to take this offer, but um, yeah, but. Um, I see balance being restored. Um, Temperance is a sign of Sagittarius. Yeah, oh my. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel is turning in year seven. Wheel of Fortune. Universal flow is seven. So, uh, luck is turning on your side. Everything your, everything that you lost is being restored with the death card. Okay, yes. Um, this is a sign of Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. is crushed 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 but now oh man and they in love with you they are in love this may have been another child involved um this person got possibly you guys were connected before and um yeah okay whoa whoa yeah okay with the nine of swords uh this person is having sleep this night up your head uh, up their head about this uh, missing you. Um, they are in love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio here. But um, this person is in love. But they never. They wore a mask. They never told you how they truly felt. They want to come in Seven of Pentacles and build with you. But right now, you focused on your business endeavors and um, multitasking because you guys are very talented. So, uh, really tapping into what you what you love and what you want. Okay. <laughs> Very peaceful by yourself. Very peaceful by yourself. Okay? And your dog, if you have a dog. Possibly a Yorkie. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but you see with the Three of Cups, uh, possibly this was a third-party situation. Um, a false mask, okay? Um, yeah, with the Knight of Wands, uh, started out sexual, in and out, in and out. Um, so possibly this person had a family. Um, because I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, yeah, because I see lovers, okay, sign of Gemini. So this possibly started out sexual. Um, so if you guys didn't have a family, this person possibly had a family already, but couldn't make up their mind and decide what they wanted. Um, was breadcrumbing you, um, just having sex, nothing stable, nothing sufficient. I feel with this person. Yeah, um, put you in a third party situation, never expressed their feelings for you, that they loved you, or whatever the case may be. But now, once you moved away, once you cut this out, and you know, but this is divine a divine connection a soul connection uh true love with the lovers uh again this person um is up in their head thinking about a way how to come in uh because this person broke your heart okay this is what i'm feeling this person broke your heart which would set you off on a spiritual awakening uh really depressed really sad trying to find oneself what you did wrong in this situation but i see that if this person was in a relationship and you you guys weren't just uh hooking up um, this was concerning, um, this person couldn't leave because of family and finances, uh, uh, possibly a family business involved in this situation. Um, 
um, but I see some of you all having your own business as well, okay, uh, in a family dynamic, um, yeah, okay, but um, you moved away from this, but now this person wants to come in and offer you because th this person realized, went through the awakening process as well, and realized that uh, you are their missing half, yin yang, the one that balances them out, balance, okay, um, yeah, but right now you're walking alone. And this person is going to step out of their comfort zone to come to you. Okay, yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, but things came to an end with the town moment, uh, sign of Scorpio. Um, things came to an end. Um, possibly this person found out. Uh, this person possibly ghosted you. Um, just disconnected without because they had family matters that they need to they needed to handle. Um, yeah, but um, I see disruptive something uh, is is happening in their connection. It's going to help. Okay, if they are in a long term relationship, it's going to help. Okay, um, yeah. But with the Palace of Cups uh, again, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio. This person left you in deep. Uh, you had deep feelings for this person, but this person has deep feelings for you. Uh, I feel like you guys still love this person, still have a lot of feelings for this person. Um, and this person is coming in to express how they really feel for you. Um, you guys never stop loving this person, I feel. You, you guys never stop loving this person. This person possibly moved away to another state and left you behind, okay? Uh, again, um, some of you all may be dealing with a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, a Scorpio, Leo, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, yeah, but you see, with the Two of Wands, you decided to close out the cycle, love yourself first, and walk alone on this path. Walking alone. You see? You're walking alone. Walking alone. Okay. So, I feel that this person is uh, is kind of nervous. Yeah, you're walking alone. But they know that if they don't, they don't say anything, um, they might lose you forever. Okay. But um, this person is coming. But I see that it's going to cause problems. Because some of you all may be in a relationship already as well. Now. Okay? This is what I'm feeling. Yeah. So some of you all may be in a relationship too. Okay? So this person possibly got out of a relationship. Some of you all may be in a relationship trying to get out of a relationship. Some of you all may be single. But yeah, some of you all may have a family as well. Okay? All right, let's continue because this is, um, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm picking up a lot of uh, energy here. So take what resonates, okay? And take what, oh man, yep. <sighs> oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. Uh, crush. Yeah, see? Crushed, but secret crush. This person, um, oh my God, um, they really, they are watching you. Uh, can't get their eyes off of you. Um, again, you guys may be in a relationship. They might have got out of a relationship, but it was so long. But, um, uh, <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, but um, you went through the healing process. The healing process, and so does this person. But this person finds you to be very healing to them. Okay? Yes. Um, <laughs> again, this may have been a hookup between you two. Nothing uh, serious. But uh, I see this person wants to travel with you and build you new memories. Some of you may have tattoos on your arms. This person may, or your hands. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, okay, uh, travel, yeah, but with text message, this person is definitely going to reach out, it's going to make you very happy to rekindle this, uh, fire, uh, yeah, um, but you're going to follow your intuitions, some of you all may be getting tower readings on this person, some of you all may be tower readers, um, this person may be getting tower readings on you, um, but this person is following their intuition and you're going to follow your intuition too. Um, 
and I see you guys, uh, this person wants a relationship and to build a home with you. They, uh, this person uh, is going to make you very happy. Um, and 80, 83 is 11, so September 11th, okay, September 2nd. But uh, pay attention to the signs, 111, 11, 11, okay. Um, but I see um, long-term relationship, marriage, um, commitment here. Very happy, uh, very content. Okay. Let me, um, well, this is, ooh, ooh. okay, Virgos, okay, but this person is intimidated by your energy right now because you're cutthroat. Oh, yeah, so automate, yeah, passive, so you see, you guys are, pa are passive right now, it's not like, like, whatever, but passive income. Okay, develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Okay, create. You guys, are, again, very creative, tapping into your um, gifts and talents. Okay, following your path, doing what you love. Okay, get creative in your business. How could this person wants to create with you to procreate? Okay, get creative in your business. How can you break the rules in your niche? How can you... Can, Create momentum. How can you zag when all others zig? So being very different, stepping outside your comfort zone, okay? Doing something that nobody else does, all right? Book clients. Mm -hmm. uh, this person may be sending you pink pink, pink uh, flowers. Focus on booking your ca cal calendar with enough clients to reach your monthly income goals, okay? This person definitely wants to build with you. A message, going to be sending you a message, okay? Uh, possibly on social media, um, if they don't have your phone number, build your email list and nurture your audience by staying in touch. And this person, this person is going to stay in touch. Um, and they want to touch you as well. Okay. And profit a lot. Then I see a lot of money gifts from the universe. Once you do what you love, um, in a red bow. Okay. Welcome abundance into your life. Create a strong relationship with money. Rejoice in the opportunities and the experience it brings. So a lot of money heading your way. And this person is coming to, uh, to give back as a provider to balance out the scales okay balance mm -hmm. restore balance can't get you out of your mind but they're coming they're coming with that message mm -hmm. yep time is running out all right but anyway I gotta go guys I love you guys I'm possible you're possible girl NC I'm out